Hi, my name is uh, Jan Eilerman and welcome to this quick tip, getting started with Garmin Pilot. This uh, video is inspired on uh, Wayne's uh, video and I'll link to it uh, below on getting started with uh, ForeFlight. And uh, here is the alternative uh, if you want to check out Garmin Pilot instead of uh, ForeFlight. To plan a route in Garmin Pilot, the quickest way is just to tap at the top and in the enter route box just start keying in wherever you want to fly to. In this uh, quick video we'll start at uh, Santa Barbara then fly to the Gaviota VOR and then we will fly to uh, San Luis Obispo. If we hit enter it will compute uh, the distance and the route is now essentially set. If we click on the zoom in icon we will see the entire route on the on the map and we can start exploring a couple of options. We can set all kinds of different maps and views, but more on that in, uh, in a separate uh, video. For now, we'll focus on uh, getting this flight planned. Let's uh, have a look at which, which plane we're flying with. By default, you can configure a series of planes you frequently fly with in uh, Garmin Pilot, or you can add additional planes. It has a big library of uh, existing uh, planes, as well as when you click on the details of a plane, you can change the standard configuration. So let's say you have a Cessna 172S, but your performance is slightly different, maybe because you got a new exhaust and you want to change your climb data, then on all different levels and temperatures, you can go in and change those uh, climb speeds so that the Garmin can do all the hard work for you and uh, compute how quick you're going to be somewhere. Now let's set our altitude that we're going to be flying at, uh, 6,500, seems like a good altitude to fly at, but let's go back to the map and see if that will turn out uh, well with the terrain on the right hand side. It looks like this will be uh, just fine, it looks like a little steep at the beginning, but keep in mind that departing from Santa Barbara you'll typically fly a little bit over the sea before you uh, make the turn and begin with your actual flight to the north. We can have a look at the navigation log to look at the times that we'll be spending in the in the plane and the duration of uh, each leg. We can set our departure time so that it will take that into uh, account as well in case we want to file the plan or we want to know what our ETA uh, is uh, is going to be. Now let's uh, check our uh, weather and Garmin has a very useful tool for this which are called widgets which you can set up to show the different parts of uh, the weather and the uh, bio reps and the winds aloft. So let's start with a high level forecast discussion, then go through the winds aloft, go through the meters, and as you scroll through your route, it will show the different airports en route, where you can also have a look at the TAF, so what's the, the expectation of the weather en, uh, en route, what are the different bio reps that we should be uh, keeping in, in mind flying there, what are the different uh, NODEMs that we should be keeping in uh, in mind as, uh, as well as we're flying from Santa Barbara to San Luis Obispo. So having inspected all of that we're ready to fly but let's do a small manual modification to our flight plan and maybe fly over the sand dunes simply by dragging our uh, route out and then tapping the waypoint that we want to go through. Let's double check our terrain to see if uh, we're still okay in the flight profile over there and yeah this is still looking good we can double check our uh, navigation log as well in terms of timings and uh, and distances all looking good now to finalize our uh, brief flight planning let's uh, zoom out and have a look at the radar on the radar you can see clouds and storms and rain going on nothing seems to be happening in the area but if we scroll a little bit to the north we can see a couple of uh, clouds and also those uh, yellow areas uh, over there, that's not uh, something you want to be uh, under, especially you know, the red parts, that's going to be uh, thunderstorms. So let's stay out of the way of those clouds, but they're very far away from where we're flying, so we should be good to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, brief introduction to Garmin Pilot, and if you're interested in a side-by-side -side comparison, check the link below, where Wayne and I compare them side-by-side. -side. Feel free to leave questions or comments below, and we'll make sure to answer them.